Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Chicken Police. Let's look at that poster. For the crown, for the king! Every time this poster disappears, good old Blood Boil puts it right back, immediately. I tore it down at least three times already. Actually, it's a kind of passive-aggressive game for us with the Chief. I'm sure it's Blood Boil himself taping back the torn-off posters, like some maniac. <laughs> he must have a dozen of those things in his bag for emergencies. Probably after you keep torn, tearing them down. I'm sure it's Blood Boy. Okay. Uh, let's see. If you drive There's a cop a... car in Clawville, you can do almost anything you want. Until you've got the red and blue on, nobody asks a damn thing. Maybe that's why cops are the biggest gangsters around here. There's also the uh, sigil at the top of the police station doors there. Oh, yeah. If you police drive press. a cop. Okay. We should probably try talking to them again. By huh? the way, what's with the raincoat? Didn't you find an umbrella? Why? Frank says it'll be rain. And see, that's raining. He's a frog, so he must know. Yeah, well, I'm a rooster, but I hate getting up early. Raincoats are just fine, okay. You have a problem with that, Sonny? I mean... No, just, uh, you know, the spikes sticking through and all. Yeah. Is something wrong with our spikes chucking? Yeah, you know what, just forget You're not it. getting the point here. The bullet hole in my crest is worth more than these two combined. Well then. Did you miss me? No? Same here. Why don't you get on your knees and tell me you love me? We have a tough history, <laughs> you and me. Maybe it's time to forget about the past, eh? <sighs> we have a tough... Okay, should we just go in? I think that's yeah. everything here. Do, 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 do. Can't wait to see what here Marty looks again. like. Clawville Police Department. I've never been good at history, but if I'm not mistaken, this place has been a church, a hospital, and even some insane cult's secret hideout over the years. Anyway, the place holds the secrets of the ages, and some drunk pigs in the basement. Do you mean pigs as in cops or literal pigs? Marty drinks this shit. I've never tried it, but I'm pretty sure it's gross and probably toxic. What, soda? Yeah, you're not wrong. Especially back in the day, like, you're just drinking fucking cocaine. Honor, strength, unity. <laughs> For the love of the wild gods, I'm gonna be sick. We used one of these as target practice once. Not out of disrespect. We were just too damn drunk. Ha! <laughs> we used one of... Okay. Today is not the day I'm gonna try this. For me, nothing beats the iron-flavored, turbid tap water. Ah! Yuck! More? Rosco... Bosco? Officer Barkman? We used one of the... Okay. What do we got around here? Shooting Monica. range? That's where we're supposed to go. I'll talk to Monica! Monica Rosen. Receptionist in oh, theory, Luna. but in reality, she's doing literally everything around here. Like the beating heart of the PD. She's too good for this place, even for this city. All right, I'll talk to her. She seems nice. Hey, Monica. Hey, Boss Bird. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be celebrating somewhere? Every day's a holiday <laughs> since I got out of here. I think she's a hummingbird. I can tell. But what are you doing here? Are you here for a file? You know, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah, you could look after a few things for me, but first, I'd like to talk to Mr. Big Beak McChicken himself. Those two prickly assholes told me he's emptying the magazines in the hole. Like always. And if he carries on like that, he's gonna use up all our ammo. So it would be nice if you drag him out of there. You know how this day is for him. <laughs> for him? You know I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. Okay, so just sign here and you're good to go. Thank you, darling. Don't mention it, Boss Bird. Boss Bird. What do we got? Who do we got? Oh, shit, there's a lot of here, actually. Bosco! Uh, he's able to devour anything Chilling. across the path. Boss That's why Pirelli. I got the name Chick Chowhound. Not us. Monica Rosen, no, Hummingbird, no. yep. She can watch over a thousand things at once, and she's an angel. 
Ah, okay. Morph. Komodo dragon. Old, blind, and an unrepairable wreck. Lucius Bloodboil. Chief's a real legend. He also hates me. Fair enough. Alright, let's... I wonder. What do you know about the Czar Club? Nothing special. I've never been there. It's a famous place, though. Expensive cigars, unaffordable drinks, pretty gals. All the movie stars and politicians go there at least once a week. And all the big shot mobsters, too, I've heard. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. Ah! Still living in the Atlas? If something works, why change it, right? I guess. Well, if you like it there. Listen, Monica, you could, uh... Come by sometime yeah, for a drink. Or, oh, damn. Or two, you know? I didn't hear that, and you didn't say that. Okay. Oh. Got it. Sorry. Anything else, Boss Bird? Yikes. Do we have a file on Hobart, Ibn, Wessler? Are you kidding me? We have a whole room just for him. Want the key? You can spend the remaining days of your paid holiday in there. No, thanks. Never mind. You're a bit sassy today, aren't you? Dude, come I'm on! I'm sorry, but I'm starting to shed my feathers because of this insane asylum. You know, New Year's Eve and blood boils not here when he should be. Somehow, I'm not sorry about that. Yeah, I bet you're not, boss bird. Natasha Katzenko. Hmm, interesting name. Is it real or just an alias? I don't know. All I know is she real, is Russian cat. Good question. We have nothing on her. She's either clean or uses a fake name. Maybe both, but I don't think so. Aside from that, everyone knows what I know about her. Singer, star, the number one babe in this town, so to speak. Thanks, little bird. It's something. Glad I could help. Okay. Hey, Sonny. Is everything all right? Um... Sure. Everything's fine, Mon. I'm just... Distracted. That's nice. Life is best if you let the adventures take you with them. The hell? <laughs> Jeez, Mon. Don't read so many romantic novels. That was one of yours, actually. Quite old, Sonny. You used to love saying nice little things like that, remember? I try oh, not shit. To. Okay. We erase the past because we so we're just an asshole then. Me, right? Stop that right there. Okay, okay. I'm just joking. God damn, okay. Really just throwing that shit in our face. Yeah. Well, oh dear Monica, sometimes I feel like you're holding this whole place together. Okay. Yes, boss. Nothing yet. Just don't make a mess, okay? Okay, so that's just gonna be that. Uh, Mort! Mort Mardigan, a notorious deadbeat. Poor guy's been blind since his teenage years. But that doesn't stop him from running into trouble. What the cluck did he do this time? I find it... I think it would be very hard to be blind and do Mort, crime. You beast. What the hell did you Intentionally, do? Intentionally, at least. It's more to you, sonny boy. Everything's fine. There was just a bit of trouble in the bar, and someone got knocked on the head with a glass. It wasn't my fault. I'm as blind as a bat, am I right? That's Did actually I very hurtful stereotype to bats. Listen, sonny boy. Go tell them to leave me alone, eh? It's New Year's Eve, after all, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Not that wrong. His voice sounds <clears throat> like he's trying to do an Argonian and a Kaji at the same time. What else? Where's your little lapdog to get you out of this mess? Is that little pimp of a midget still sniffing around you? Uh, Jeffy is a good boy, Sonny. And he's good to me, believe me. Oh, God, spare me the details. When will you finally realize that little shit's been using you? Oh, of course, if you sing me. <laughs> what could a pretty boy like him want from this old monster? Eh? Still, Sonny, I have no one else. Do you understand that? Don't you? Even you deserve better, pal. 
By the way, you look horrible, even for yourself. Are you feeling okay? Well, I'm not what I used to be. But neither are you, judging from your voice. But I'm seeing a doctor, Sammy boy. I really am. Are you? Probably not. Don't need to, Mort. I'm fine. Anyway, if Bubo prescribed you something, don't even think about taking it. Uh, I don't talk to that insane oh. owl. Damn right. Please, say something on my behalf, okay? I really don't have time for this detective buffalo sh Hey, careful with that. Buffalo Malloy is the chief today. <laughs> like I care. I'll try to speak for you, but keep it down till then, okay? You don't need this shit, and I don't need it either. Sonny boy, you've always been a good friend. <laughs> More like a clucking pigeon. Well now, that is interesting. Are you Dr. Bubo? Morphinist, neurotic, <laughs> old and ugly, but he's an old friend from the golden days of Eagle the Eagle Owl, police. Bubo Bubo. <laughs> Bubo Bubo. Nice. Alright, let's see. Light fingered bastard, blind as a bat, one of the biggest scoundrels he's ever seen. He could have been a good guy, but lot ah, got lost somewhere halfway, and now he's too old to save himself. There's some fight in the club, what a surprise, he's an old friend, so I can put in a good word for him. Poor old lizard. You've seen better days, haven't you? So if I just keep talking to you, what happens? Tell me, you really know how to hurt a guy. Oh, fuck. Tell me, sonny boy, how's Molly and the little chicky? Chicky! You really know how to hurt a guy. Is something wrong? They no longer live with me, Mort. For a few years now. And to be honest, we're not really in touch. I'm sorry, pal. I didn't want to reopen old wounds. It's all right, Morty. Let's drop it. Okay, let's see. Uh, Bosco! Detective Chow Hound Bosco. He thinks he's a real alpha. But nah, he's just a lapdog. Please tell me he uses alpha unironically. <laughs> Holy wild ones, look what the cat dragged in. Hello to you too, Bosco. I see you're busy, as always. I believe that was someone's yeah, pet. I've been sniffing around one of the rundown joints. You oh, know, look at his goes. arms. And boom, this son of a lizard comes flying out the window. I didn't know the lizards could fly. <laughs> so, Mort was being a bad, bad boy again. Nothing unusual. And you, still dying? I'm still a cop for another 121 days, Bosco. It's as unpleasant to me as it is to you. All right, all right. No need to bite. Okay. I wasn't trying to mess with you. You have Moses and Plato for that. And of course, blood boil. Who's Moses and Plato? I hope I won't run into any of them tonight. Looking for Marty, eh? Ever since you left, he's kind of lost. Jax, get up here. He's trying to hide it. But he's not the same bird. Well, I don't think we'll have Come a on. teary reunion, thinking about how we parted. Let me give you some advice, Sonny. Let him rage. He'll be the same after that. Anyway, he was the one that shot you, right? You should be mad, not him. It's not that simple, Bosco. But we'll see how he reacts. Thanks anyway. No he gets worries, shot again. Pal. Very interesting. And yeah, if he just shoots you again. <laughs> how are the pups? They're real monsters. Life's a living hell. But it'd be even worse without them, you know? Yeah, you're telling me. Oh, right. Sorry. And how's life without the chicken police? Unfortunately, the worst half is still here. But it's good. It's so uneventful. What a coincidence. Want me to make it <laughs> No, I'm fine without it, really. Listen, Bosco, do you need this mm -hmm. mess with Mort? Yeah, like I like I it. Do. Well, what can I do when he's almost beat a fucking giraffe to death? A giraffe? <sighs> Never mind, it's what? New Year's Eve. There's a brawl like this in every joint of the city, and you know that. 
He's just a loser, and also blind. Maybe someone just stuck that broken mug in his hand. <laughs> you know that's not what happened. Of course I know. <sighs> all right, I'll let him go. We don't need him yelling in here all night. I'll write the report and throw him out. But he better not end up back in here again tonight. Hooray! I'll have a talk with him. I helped my friend. Everything all right, Lizard Wizard? Lizard Wizard? Yeah, <laughs> it will be as soon as I'm out of here. Yeah, you're out. Get out of here. Go. You're, you're good. Go. Just sign any bullshit testimony they shove in your face, and you're free to go. Bosco also wants to get through with it, just like you. Thanks. Sunny, much obliged. You owe me another one, old man, and I won't forget it. You can count on me, Sunny boy. I'll help if I can. Hooray! Debts! The most what surefire the way to gain a friendship. Just sign any book. Thank okay, you. Okay, same thing. Anything new from you, Bosco? Keep up the good work. You're a good boy, Bosco. <laughs> Apparently, there's a Kickstarter for ketchup slices. I'm sorry, what? Squares of dehydrated fruit roll up as ketchup leather. That sounds disgusting. One of Blood Boil's favorites. Mainly because he's a dog, of course. It's like a square cheese, but it's just dried ketchup. One of blood... That sounds Officer disgusting. Dude. Dude. It looks they disgusting. Say she's it does look like fucking leather. And dangerous. We need more Ooh. of her kind in here. Way gross. Officer. Okay, so nothing new there. Let's see, what do we got? Something new on Bosco. Uh, well, see, his work surprisingly doesn't use you. Okay, nothing really helpful there. Moses hey, and Plato. Moses is a Tibetan sand fox, and Plato is a palace cat. The old rivals are Sunny and Marty. Currently working in the club. Oh, homicide. Homicide okay. division. Okay, let's see. Anything else we gotta do here? You see the cliff on top there. I don't know if you look bad. All it takes is one look, and my comb starts to tingle, which never means anything good. It's a little blurry. Ah, there we go. All it takes is one. Okay. Uh, so we know he's in the shooting range, so we should probably check the I'm officer. really not in the mood to meet oh. Deputy Malloy, or any of my ex-colleagues from the Predatory Division. Okay, vending machine, police crest, more Bosco, yeah, okay. To the shooting range! This is gonna be a hard ride. Last time we saw each other, he had a smoking gun in his hand, and I was bleeding. I don't know how we can get past that, but it's worth a try. Aw, oh, you're not all fluffy. Keep your gun clean, Mr. Warman. Wow. Good I, can't I can't believe this shit was like... Okay. Long thighs and a big gun. That's Marty's idea of a perfect woman. <laughs> can't blame him for it. So you're saying he likes Fuda? <laughs> Hello, Cassandra. <laughs> I hope we'll meet again. Oh, God, I'm starting to sound like Marty. <laughs> that little note down there. What can I say? Classic Marty. What does that even say? Uh, give me a moment. Move the cursor. Hey, you. If you let... If you let the, uh, something... If you let the Boys. ammunition boxes open again... Oh, yeah. I'll kick your clucking ass. Yep, ah. Marty. That little note down there. Okay, let's see. Shooting practice light switch. Not creepy at all that you're just hanging out Marty in the darkness. Jones. Jesus ah. Christ, dude! Susie, Claudia, Linda, Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Susie. I know her well. Marty calls her Susie. And I have to say, this little she devil pulled us out of many tough situations over the years. Oh, revolver. Oh, uh, little nine pistol. Nine The fucking Tiny, dark, and angry. forty round it hits you where it mag. The most. Marty only uses her in very dark cases, and on those nights she almost always takes a life, or maybe two. Marty only. Okay, what's this one then? Marty only. God damn it! 
Marty has a dozen guns, but Susie's one of his favorites. He got her from a fish we rescued from muddy waters together. Those were the days. Alright, well that's all the time we have for today. We'll go over the rest of the guns later. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.